Hey, how's it going guys? Chris here, and today I'm going to be giving you a complete in-depth comparison between two of Battlefield 1's most destructive rapid-firing assault weapons. The Italian Automatico M1918, made by Beretta and inspired by the Villa Perosa, along with that early Tommy gun prototype, quite aptly named the Annihilator, for a pretty good reason too. Both guns function in a fairly similar kind of way on the face of it, as they're both fast shooting weapons that spit out loads of bullets to deal damage quickly within closer ranges. Best designed for clearing trenches, advancing forwards, using offensive tactics that push the enemy back, and of course, wiping the floor with anyone unfortunate to be nearby at the time. But there are quite a lot of stats to separate the two and make them function slightly differently from one another, giving them distinct advantages and disadvantages in comparison. So although they might fit into the same category, used alongside more aggressive playstyles that basically let you run around like Rambo destroying people in CQC, this video is going to be highlighting those main differences and letting you know exactly how one might be better than the other in certain aspects. So one of the big things you'll probably want to know is, well, which one's the deadliest? Both the Automatico and Annihilator might function in the same sort of way, but they do have slightly different fire rates and damage models affecting those kill times and the speed in which they can drop other players up close and further away. Taking a look at the Automatico first, firing 9mm Glacenti ammunition, which just so happens to be the weakest cartridge of all the Assault Classes SMGs, these bullets are going to dish out less overall damage, basically letting you kill with 5 bullets up to 12 meters. Though it could possibly take up to 8 rounds to kill beyond 30 meters, which is quite a lot of bullets you'll need to land on target to get the job done, as you're just going to be tickling players with those puny rounds far away. Whereas the Annihilator on the other hand has a different set of damage figures to the other submachine guns, giving it shots slightly more power than the average SMG bullet. The weapon's got a maximum damage of 30 in close quarters, which isn't just stronger than the Automatico, but it's also higher than a good majority of the Assault's other fully automatic weapons, translating over to a 4 shot kill up to 12 meters, though possibly taking up to 7 rounds to take opponents down beyond 30 meters. And if you've been paying good attention, you'll realize that these damage drop offs are pretty much identical to the Automaticos, apart from the fact that the Annihilator can kill in one less bullet, giving those shots much more of an impact. The fact that you'll be dealing more damage per cartridge also gives you more consistency when bringing people down too, as you'll be dishing out higher headshots and limb shot figures, basically making it easier to kill. Though despite having more power, the fact that the Automatico fires at 900 RPM, which is an 8% increase over the Annihilator's 830 RPM, this helps to narrow the gap a bit and bring those kill times a bit closer together. So with the Annihilator hitting harder and with the Automatico shooting faster, which is the superior weapon when it comes to overall lethality. Well, I can safely say that the Annihilator still has an edge over the Automatico in this field, because the higher damage slightly outweighs the rate of fire, meaning that it's got quicker kill times, especially in CQC. And because they're both weapons predominantly made for close quarter use, the Annihilator is generally going to be the more dangerous option of the two. The Automatico's extra speed might sometimes be better for finishing off enemies that have already been weakened in a close range scenario, but the Annihilator will still take down lone targets with full health faster and easier, making it the winner in this category. So the Annihilator's bullets might hurt a little bit more than the Automatico's, but that's providing those said bullets hit your target, because if they don't, that extra damage doesn't mean a bloody thing. Because there's quite a few different variants of both weapons, there's a lot of factors to take into account when choosing which one best suits your playstyle. And when comparing both the Annihilator and the Automatico, certain variants complement the guns in specific ways, along with their effectiveness at being able to land shots over further distances. But taking a step back from all those complicated stats and looking at the overall picture, the Automatico is generally going to be the more accurate weapon of the two, having some slightly lower recoil statistics along with better spread. The Automatico's trench and factory variants both kick upwards at a value of 0.42 and horizontally at 0.4 whereas the Annihilator's trench variant bounces around slightly more with an upwards value of 0.55 and a horizontal value of 0.45, which is basically a 24% decrease in stability and an 11% decrease in the gun's accuracy, often making it a bit harder to aim with. The same thing goes for the Storm variants too, as although they typically have lower recoil values than their other variants, the Automatico Storm still takes the cake, having the least amount of recoil of the two once again having 24% higher stability with that lower vertical recoil and 11% higher accuracy with less horizontal sway in automatic fire. And when you put all the variants together, the Automatico Storm's got the best precision of the lot when it comes to aiming and shooting. 
though recoil isn't everything, as there's quite a few other stats to take into account here that are going to drastically affect the way certain variants are going to play out. One of those factors being the gun's first shot recoil multiplier, which basically affects how much a weapon's recoil is affected by the first shot, as soon as you pull the trigger. This is yet another thing that the Automatico handles with better, as apart from the factory variant of the Automatico, which is probably going to be best for tap firing, having a first shot multiplier of two times and a quicker recoil decrease rate, both the Storm and Trench variants have lower multipliers than the Annihilators, with values of 2.4 times instead of 3 times, meaning that they're not only going to be more precise in fully automatic fire, but they're also probably going to seem a bit better suited for tap and burst firing too. Definitely a good thing for trying to control the weapon to land shots on target further away. All of the Automatico variants also just so happen to have a lower ADS base spread value of 0.3 when you're standing still too, under the small buff over the Annihilator. That when it comes to hipfire spread stats, the trench variants are obviously going to be the best, but the Automatico trench will still be the more accurate option due to that lower recoil pattern and smaller first shot multiplier. The Automatico's just got the better stats across the board when it comes to precision, and so you're normally going to find it a little bit easier to land bullets with, regardless of the variants, which might come in handy if you're aiming at someone slightly beyond the gun's optimal killing range up close. Now when it comes to reliability, there's a few important factors to take into account, as you can have a weapon that's got loads of power behind its bullets or an accurate recoil pattern, but if a gun's not very reliable, it's going to struggle at keeping you alive, limiting its effectiveness in certain situations like when you're surrounded by the enemy team, and it just basically makes you a more vulnerable target, not good. Taking a look at the Thompson Annihilator, we can see that all of its variants hold a single detachable box magazine containing 20 rounds whereas the Automatico M1918 on the other hand also uses a single detachable box magazine too, shoved into the gun's head, but this one holds more shots at 25 rounds, so 5 more than the Annihilator. So it's easy to see that the Automatico has the advantage here regarding mag size, and having more bullets at your disposal typically makes a weapon more dependable, but taking into account how fast each gun is going to spray its bullets out, and of course how much those bullets are actually worth regarding damage. This brings the Automatico and Annihilator a little bit more in line with each other, as yeah, the Automatico holds more shots, but it's going to discharge those shots at a quicker pace, a pace which is probably going to seem harder to regulate and control the amount of rounds you actually fire out. Not only that, but the Annihilator might have smaller magazines, though due to its bullets dealing higher amounts of damage, this means that both guns are technically capable of bringing down the same amount of players within close quarters as each other, being able to kill up to 5 completely healthy enemies with a single magazine which sort of balances things out a bit. Of course, with both guns peppering your targets with bullets, spraying them out at some of the quickest rates in the game, actually killing 5 players with 100% health with one mag is pretty much almost impossible, unless you're John Wick. Who, because a lot of the enemies you come across in CQC will have already been weakened by something, or somebody else first, having more bullets is going to come in handy, which might give the Automatico a slight edge when it comes to finishing those injured people off. Both the Annihilator and the Automatico have the same deploy time of 0.65 seconds, so they're on par with each other there, being slightly faster to whip out than a few of the other assault submachine guns like the Hellregal and the SMG-0818. Though there's one thing that the Automatico does to generally boost its reliability over the Annihilator, as it not only shoots a bit faster, but it also reloads faster too. Compared to a lot of the other magazine-fed SMGs, the Annihilator's reloads are a tad on the slower side, with tactical reloads taking almost 3 seconds and full ones taking 3.6 seconds, both quite a bit more than the Automatico's, which has a tactical reload speed of 2.1 seconds, almost 30% quicker than the Annihilator's, along with a 2.8 second reload when that magazine's been depleted and is completely empty. The fact that the Automatico holds more shots and reloads at a faster pace does generally make it a more reliable option to pick and although it might seem harder to control how many bullets you fire due to that quicker RPM, you're less likely to get caught out, with there being more chance of you having bullets readily available whenever you need them most. So which gun should you choose? The Automatico is the ultimate spray and pray bullet hose that can shower your victims with lead and chip away smaller amounts of health at a quicker rate, though the Annihilator will be able to punch through your opponent's health bar a little bit more viciously all whilst firing at a very fast, but not quite as fast pace too. 
Although both weapons can blitz through other players at tremendous speeds in CQC like a hot knife through butter, the Annihilator has a slight edge when it comes to overall lethality, as the Automatico's weaker damage output but quicker fire rate still isn't quite enough to increase those kill times to the same level as that Tommy Gun prototype, making the Annihilator a more powerful killing machine up close and further away. And this will probably make it seem like it's bringing down enemies easier when those shots are connecting, especially against nearby targets where there's more chance of you landing enough bullets to kill without recoil getting in the way. But when it does come down to accuracy, this is where the Automatico fares a little bit better, generally having lower recoil and spread stats across the board over all of its variants, along with a smaller first shot recoil multiplier too, just to make it even better. This not only gives the Automatico a bit more precision, but it also allows it to perform slightly better when tap and burst firing, which is a pretty important thing to keep in mind when you're taking on players further away, as you'll be able to fire in longer bursts before the weapon strays off target, and this is a pretty big thing that's really going to help the Automatico out, with it typically taking an extra round to kill over all distances. The lower accuracy of the Annihilator might cause it to miss more shots, of course, slowing down those kill times and this levels out its effectiveness over range in comparison, though the extra speed of the Automatico might make it seem harder to control for some people, because, well, let's face it, you're blasting out more bullets in a shorter amount of time. Close Quarters is where you'll mainly be using both guns, or at least you should be doing if you want them to be more effective, and it's within these sort of ranges where you'll often encounter multiple enemies that are going to be a threat and want to turn you into a corpse. This means that reliability is an extremely important aspect in your survival, as it's okay being able to wipe out a couple of enemies in CQC easily, but if you can't handle with the situation you're in with the amount of bullets you have in your gun, then this is going to be more of a problem when you come across a few enemies one after the other in a short space of time, which does generally happen quite a lot when you're up on the front lines, capping flags and taking over objectives. Because the Annihilator can often struggle to keep its cool in heated situations, with it having a smaller magazine size and longer reload speeds, you're more likely to get caught out when the going gets tough. And for this reason, the Automatico usually seems to be the more dependable option to use, complementing its use more so for short-ranged encounters near to all the action. I guess the extra power that the Annihilator provides you with can be an advantage for lone gunfights against other players, and if you want your opponents to drop a little easier and die in some of the quickest speeds in the game, then the Annihilator will probably be the one for you, though it might leave you in some awkward positions and force you to seek out cover more often to swap over those magazines safely. Though with a boost in accuracy and overall reliability, at the trade-off of being a little bit weaker, the Automatico will still be able to perform well in CQC too, and probably seem a little bit easier to use, and if you want a more well-rounded weapon that's a little bit more versatile, then the Automatico might seem like the best choice to pick of the two. So that's pretty much it for this one folks, hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to see more along with a bunch of individual guides for all the guns in the game, then make sure you check out my channel and subscribe if you like what you see. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.